it's Sunday the 2nd of April and we've woken up this morning to beautiful blue skies and sunshine and what promises to be a fantastic day. A couple of people have asked what we decided to do about our broody hen and I'll tell you about that a little bit later. In the veg garden I've been busy getting things planted and sorted. So here I've put up some netting uh, for peas to grow up and I've planted some ambassador peas. This isn't a, a variety that I usually grow, so this is a bit of a child. So I've put in one row of ambassador peas there. Usually I grow uh, Progress 9. So this will be exciting to grow a different, different variety. And then there, under the white tent, <laughs> I've got some beetroot in, in the centre section there. And then each end I've got carrots and at one end I've got a Chantenay carrot uh, with a red core. At this end I've put a purple carrot uh, with an orange core, so it's got a purple skin and we tried those last year and they were really tasty. So we've got those again and then I've covered it in this tent of fleecing for two reasons. One, and probably the most important at this stage, is to stop the cats uh, using the carrot <laughs> using the carrot bed as uh, a loo uh, so that will stop them scratching in that and then it's a bit later on that will stop any carrot root fly getting to the carrots and then down at the far end I've been busy down here at the far end in this bed I've got uh, some broad beans in here um, and these are also a variety that I haven't had before. They are called Lidse Hangdown. So that'll be nice to try those. Last year I grew a variety uh, called Aqua Dolce. Um, it's just really interesting to try different varieties to see if they have different flavours um, and also better growing qualities. The little chick's making a lot of noise today, um, but I have decided that it's time to move the two larger ones. So that's this one here and its friend on the ramp there. They're going into the shed in the next couple of days with the main flock because they're now old enough and big enough. Out in the field with the two little chick houses, there's house at the back there that's a spare house uh, there'll be news about that later in the week and then over here there's one more house which we've just tucked away quietly there and in this house we have a broody hen so we've moved her from the nesting box area we've given her her own house um, and in a moment after I finish filming I'll open the flap up and put a little run in front of it, although I don't think she's going to go anywhere. Um, and she is sitting there under not eggs from the incubator, uh, but under eggs that have been laid in the last few days, uh, a variety of colours. And I put them in before I put her in. And last night she made lots of, oh, I've laid an egg noise, and immediately settled down onto them very happily. So I think we've made the right decision. If you're enjoying my vlogs, please leave a comment, like the video, and of course, don't forget to subscribe.